you ever asked yourself whether nutrients and vitamins may affect your stem cells? In our recent paper in Cell, we report the influence of retinoic acid, a derivative of vitamin A, on our most potent blood stem cells located in the bone marrow. Since billions of blood cells die every day, the same amount of cells need to be produced daily to maintain our steady state. While this is mediated by our hematopoietic stem cells or HSCs, we found some years back that our most potent HSCs are surprisingly in a state of deep dormancy. These dormant HSCs build a reservoir and are only activated in situations of danger and stress. This includes bacterial or viral infections, inflammation or chemotherapy. After the system is repaired, the activated HSCs go back into dormancy. This is a safety measure of the stem cells to prevent acquisition of mutations, which could lead to leukemia. How is dormancy control? We know almost nothing about this. To address the difference between dormant and active stem cells, we isolated both rare populations and analyzed them by RNA sequencing to determine difference in the transcriptomes. Moreover, we performed RNA sequencing also on single cells. This revealed two important key findings. First, that the transition is not a switch, but it's rather a continuum. Second, while all biosynthetic processes as well as reactive oxygen species and MIG are downregulated, we found that retinoic acid signaling was highly upregulated in dormant HSCs. Retinoic acid is a metabolite of vitamin A and acts as a ligand for retinoic acid receptors. They bind to DNA and activate specific genetic programs. Food with a high vitamin A content includes tuna, liver, eggs, butter and cheese, and also carrots, red peppers, tomatoes, broccoli and apricots. We then found that retinoic acid programs are highly active in dormant HSCs, but become downregulated in active HSCs. This suggested that retinoic acid may promote and control dormancy. By providing a retinoic acid agonist called ATRA, we could then show that ectopic stimulation by the pathway can be significantly inhibited but not completely block the activation by chemotherapy or other stress factors. To test whether retinoic acid is required for blood stem cells, we fed mice for several months with a vitamin A free diet and analyzed their stem cells. In the absence of vitamin A in the diet, the number of blood stem cells decreased compared to controlled animals eating regular food. Importantly, it was specifically the return of stem cells to dormancy which was impaired. These data suggest that this pathway is essential to establish dormancy and thus necessary to maintain a healthy pool of blood stem cells. Since dormant leukemic cells are resistant to chemotherapy, we are now exploring whether our finding could be used to design more efficient anti-leukemic therapies. In summary, our data suggests that vitamin A and retinoic acid a component of our food is controlling our blood stem cell function. So do not forget to eat goodies which contain vitamin A, but also keep in mind to not overdose and consider a balanced nutrition. <music>